Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Lord, what do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people? This lovely evening. Oh, Zachariah. Right. Five, six. This is Zechariah three, five, six. And this is Zechariah eight. Right. Solid soul to me. But you already know what we gonna do. We gonna run that joint. Listen. I was just sitting talking to the Lord, thanking him. And all. It's been a long roller coaster, you know what I'm saying? But the joint is worth it because why? It came from the Lord. And I appreciate him and I thank him and I praise him. Like I say, I give my soul to you, Lord Jesus. No. When he blesses you with what you say that you need from him, it's like I said, I'm going to keep preaching that. I'm going to keep preaching that. You know what I'm saying? We should pray for what we need, not for what we want. He give us what we need easy. Yes, that what we want come easy, but it don't come from him. It comes from the devil. And there's no other way around that. You know what I'm saying? Telling you what God love. Listen. I asked him for a partner. I said it ain't gotta be perfect. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gotta be perfect. It just gotta be for me. You know what I'm saying? I said, Lord, give me my rib. You know what I'm talking about? Out of all the things that I've been through in my life. I was just like, man, I, this is what I need in my life, Lord. I need somebody that's going to be down for me, have my back, show me love, compassion, affection. Genuinely. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Oh. He be hitting me. And obviously, you know already, he hitting me right now. Sitting there with my eyes closed. And I'm thinking... Thinking to myself, I'm like, I looked out the window when I was working out earlier, and I'm like, I'm looking at the moon. I still ain't been out there yet, but that joint looked like it's full or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. That joint looked like it's about full. I'm like, is that why the bird trying to land on me? I'm just trying to figure out things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, supernatural stuff be happening to me and around me. You know, a lot of that stuff I don't even do, you know, mention but you know when I do you know I, I try to get video of it so the joint don't think I'm just tripping because sometimes when it be happening I'll be like I'm tripping you know what I'm talking about because I don't, I don't want to believe it but I have no other choice you know what I'm saying I have no other choice I have to live with me you know Ooh. Lord it says And I say, let them set a fair mint upon his head, so that so they set a fair mint upon his head, and clothe him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. Ooh, Lord Jesus, <laughs> use me. Do what you gonna do, Lord. Cause I already see it now. I see it coming right now. Listen, I, I my relationship with God is woo. You know, I, I made him a promise. He's keeping his promise. Uh, you know, I, I got to stay fast and do my thing with him. Do my thing for him. Listen. And the angel of the Lord 
protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk, yeah, we run in that joint, if thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house. Ooh, church, you know what I'm talking about? Listen. And shall also keep my courts. Ooh, and I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Lord. So what he's saying, you know, when he bless you, he will redress you. You know what I'm talking about? He will put you on that holy garment. He will bless everything that comes your way. Your hands will touch things that you never fathomed, you never imagined. Because he's guiding you to your destiny. Do your purpose. All the prophecies are starting to come. All of them. This is that time. You know, I've been hearing people talking about restoration and all this and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? And they right. They right. You know, but it's got to be of God. You know what I'm talking about? It got to be of God. Those restorations and reconciliations and, and everything of that. You know, it has to be of God. It can't be a want. You know, especially when it comes to kingdom marriages. It got to be a need. It got to be a need on both ends. Fulfilled from both ends. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Fulfilled from both ends. You know, what one lacks, the other one has. What the other one has, the other one lacks. But just relax. It's in God's hand. Ooh, Lord, man, man, he got me over here shaking. I can feel it. I know his feeling from other other feelings that I get. Like, you know, y'all don't know. I, my grandpa, he died on the same day that I was born, and I always had a feeling of somebody tapping me on my shoulder when something was going on. And I had that happen to me last night when I was, I was thinking about my baby, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about my baby and I had somebody tapping on me. And then God started hitting me with flashes of some old crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't, I don't really like to be talking about it all the time uh, because some of the stuff is graphic that he be showing me, you know what I'm saying? And I just know he he seen he let me see a whole bunch of people dying, and I was just like, man, just just wanted to pray. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to pray, and so I did. You know, and I hope and I pray that you know that it don't come to pass. But God's gonna have His way anyway, however it go. You know, because it was a, a, a natural occurrence, but. Whatever it is, like I said, he going to have his way to it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's his way, you know, to bring some of us home through that. You know, I, he showed me a tsunami. And right after that, he led me to scriptures dealing with waves battering the, the shores. And I'm like, you know. I ain't put it together yesterday like how I'm doing right now because it was, you know, he hit me all of a sudden. I don't have a chance or time to, you know what I'm saying, to to put it together like that, you know what I'm saying, when he be coming at me so fast with different things. He had me looking at some kind of rocket or missile or something that that went launched up and it, and it did something to the, to the earth. It did something to the earth. And that that was the voice that I heard. It did something to the earth. And then I saw the waves. And then I saw the people running and scattering. They, they was trying to get away. A lot of people didn't get away. 
and I seen them washing, uh, with them washed away, like screaming and hollering. That's that's what I was hearing on top of that, and it was it was just crazy. Uh, and I was just sitting there, and I was thinking about something else. I was thinking about some paperwork that I wanted to get done, <laughs> and, and and it just started hitting me. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about some paperwork I wanted to get done, and then I was thinking about, you know, my baby, and then I was thinking, you know what I'm saying? I was just sitting there thinking about things. You know what I'm saying? Minding my business. Was about to get ready to read, and. He stopped me and showed me that, and then I turned around and read it in the scripture. I don't know. But I, I just know that it, at, at that moment, it, it just hit me to pray. And I pray again, Lord Jesus, spare the innocent. Spare the children and the women. Men as well. Bless those who will turn to heroes in this situation because you have angels all over the place and I pray you place some in a time of need in their, in their lives over there and in your mighty name Jesus amen I'm going to run this joint because you know, that worried me a little bit last night because of how it came to me, you know what I'm saying? And that ain't the first time something like that came to me. But I like I said, I don't be trying to pay no attention because I'm just trying to live my life, you know what I'm saying? And and do what I do. If it don't really have nothing to do with me, then you know, I don't, I don't bother with it, you know. But he led me to try to put that out. Thus said the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, said of the Lord of hosts. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he hit me. We're going to run that joint. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the East Country. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You know, this is authentic or nothing. Ooh. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Ooh. Lord. And from the West Country. We're going to run that joint a little bit. And I will bring them. And they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And they shall be my people. And I will be their God. Bless you, Lord Jesus. In truth and in righteousness. You know, this is authentic or nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later on. Matter of fact, it's going to be in the morning. And we're going to raise that chi up, baby. You know what I'm talking about? I just want to say I love my baby. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. Later on.